Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Reillusion, hosted by iClone 3D. I'm Trista Ross and in today's tutorial we're going to be looking at how to correct the posture. Now this is commonly seen when you're using kind of AI mocap or you know mocap from video data and you're placing it on a model or an avatar and you'll sometimes see, um, well not sometimes, kind of a lot of the times you'll see like my image here in front of us, the posture will be looking awkward, looks really offset and it's not the correct posture. So I'm going to show you how to clean it up and how to fix it really quickly using the edit motion layer. So if I just um, play this scene here, you can see, you know, the characters leaning really forward. The posture is not correct at all. And we're going to have to do a bit of tweaking to fix that. So we're just going to come into our edit motion layer here. And all I'm doing is selecting the hip bone and we're just going to use the position gizmo and drag that into position. And you can see straight away that straightens it up a bit. We'll do the same here for the midsection and the top section. And all we're doing is using the rotation key and using the gizmos to position that posture. And you can see already the results look much better and the position of the character looks a lot more realistic. And it really is that simple of a fix. And we can see the legs here, the knees need just a little bit of adjusting. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just go back into the animation land. We'll just position our character down a little bit. And that's now fixed that and cleaned that up a lot more. And you can just see the results are much more better and it looks really, really good. And in this next scene, we're going to just position our character's head. If we just remove the hair for one sec, you can see the neck's not positioned correctly. The angle looks a bit awkward. So we're just going to use our edit motion layer again. And we're going to use our rotation gizmo just to rotate that into place. And we're going to position that in a much better position. And now if we go to the before and after, you can see exactly how far we've come. So, you know, it's really that simple just to kind of fix and you know reposition you know different kind of aspects of the character and it's something that you can't avoid you know sometimes using these AI mocaps or even a, a you know a mocap suit sometimes you're going to have to kind of fix and reposition things and you know it really is just a quick case of using the edit motion layer so in this scene we can see the character's shoulders are quite highly risen and um, you know it just looks a bit awkward so if we just play it back very quickly you can see you know they're quite high up so we're just going to you know reposition them a little bit by using the edit motion layer again and we're just going to select the hand here and we're just going to position that into place a bit and we're just going to tweak a little bit just by fine tuning the shoulders and bringing them down and just changing the angle of the posture and we'll do the before and after and you can see what we've done. It's really brought the shoulders into a nice position and just a more natural body posture. So it really is that simple to do. And if we played it before and after, you can see the results are really, really cool and it just really makes the animation look a lot more realistic. So it really is that simple to do. Okay, and in this next scene, what we're going to do is we're just going to do the same thing using the animation layer just to reposition this character's posture a little bit. You can see the arms are quite wide and quite broad and, you know, we're just going to position them a little bit closer to the body and get that looking a little bit more realistic and, you know, a bit more authentic to a character walking. So you can just see I'm just using the position gizmo to position the arms and the hands and we use the rotation gizmo on the shoulder up here. And when I turn that on and off, you can see the difference. And, you know, it really is, again, that simple to do. Um, I'll show you the before and after so you can just see exactly what we've done. But it just really kind of makes the walk a lot more realistic. And it really is that easy to do. Just using the edit motion layer and just offsetting the arms a little bit and just tweaking that. And you get these amazing results, as you're seeing here. So it really is um, incredible. And in this scene here, we're going to just see we've got a character running and what we're going to do is you can see the elbow here you know it kind of pokes out a little bit too far and we just want to kind of move this a bit and just offset it a little bit more using the same same edit motion layer and now we can see you know we just get a lot more better results if i go back you can see what we've done just um you know that minuscule detail that minute little detail it just really makes the world of difference as you can see here so, you know, just something to bear in mind how to do that, guys. I really hope this tutorial helps and I really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.